Have you ever used AI to remove a person or an object from one of your photographs? From any photograph, it doesn't really matter because today we're going to test Photo Director's AI object removal tool. Wow. Now the reference for this video tutorial is of course, I did one three years ago, but back then it was called Content Removal. It was kind of archaic, it wasn't really good, it needed a lot of work to to produce a good image of removing something. So I thought to myself, you know, it's been three years, lots of updates, AI is prevalent now, it's gotta be good, right? Yes! <laughs> now, if you wanna check out the three year video, there's a link down in the description below. So I grabbed Kiersey and I said, come on, let's go. Let's go. And I asked her to stand in the same position, in the same park, so we could do this tutorial because I don't have the old vo photograph because it was crap. <laughs> I don't save crap photos. So we did this and another photograph and we're going to try this out on with AI now and see how good it is. Let's open up Photo Director. Let's remove a person with AI. <laughs> so here we are in Photo Director. Um, I'm in the expert module here. I'm going to bring in my photograph from my local drive. This is the one I am using right here. Now it's going to ask if I want to add a background. I'm going to click no because I find the background to be slightly distracting when we're doing this. Now I asked Curiosity to stand pretty much in the same spot from the video three years ago. And uh, so basically this is what we're looking at. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut it out. And now there's some problems arise when we do this. Let's take a look. So first of all, we're going to go to our photo here. We're going to duplicate this. So I, I like to work non-destructively here over onto the right hand side. The little Harry Potter wand, this here, the guided tools. Click on this open. Let me close this down for a moment. And here you can see just from the top, come down a little bit, it says object removal. So we'll click on this object removal and you get this window turn up like this. And basically all we have is this brush here and we're going to paint over this. We're going to paint over the object we, we want to get rid of. Let me get rid of this colour. That's better. So here's my mouse pointer. We've got this circle with a plus sign in the centre. Now it's defaulted to 20 points. So what I'm going to do is, normally what you would do is, let me just zoom in with a magnifying tool. One, two, like so. Deselect that. And what you'd normally do is, you'd just select the outline of the object that you'd like to get rid of. Like so, right? I'm going to do this just quickly, just so you can see the inherent problems that turn up with this. And I'm going to go all the way like this and then make sure I've got everything selected so pretty much we are everything in the center is good so we've pretty much got an, a, a pretty decent outline around our object and just on the left hand side we're just going to click on apply now you think AI is good yeah <laughs> um, okay we've got a lot of ghosting happening here um, so AI has not really done something for us. So on the bottom here, click on reset. Now, because my mouse pointer is set at 20 points, right? You see that little plus mark in the center? I'm going to use that plus sign and, and use that to go around the outline of this person here or object that we wish to remove. So just use a plus sign like so and go all the way around like this and make sure it's all in there and then just make sure you've selected everything inside the center like so make sure we've got it all now then now you can see so the AI has got something to work with from the outside to bring in to what it's actually getting rid of however take note here you see this tree here that like we're cutting this tree in half here so this is something you want to maybe watch out for as well. So let's click on apply and see how this looks. Uh, <laughs> it's, well, it's definitely got rid of 
the person, but this now the tree is ghosting here because we cut it in half. So it's trying to replicate the tree again and again inside here, which is definitely not what we're after. So click on reset. Let's bring it all the way back. And now we take our brush all the way to 40, about 40 points, somewhere around that area. That'll do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the, the, the outer circle to go around our image like so. Make sure we've got everything like this. So we've got a nice big selection around. Fill it in like this. There we go. Now we've got a nice big selection and we've also got the tree. So what's going to happen is when I click on apply, it's going to remove the bloody tree as well. However, it does a pretty good job. Look at that. Now, you wouldn't really know if I zoomed this back out there to fit. You really wouldn't know that that is someone was standing there until you see the back. See that? That's just not working for me. See, it's, it's brought it in again. So we need to... We need to fix it. We, we, we need to do manual work like we did three years ago. I'm going to click on OK to, to have this, bring this back in here like this. Let's bring back in my little marker. Uh, so you can see here, this is, um, yeah, it, it, and it, here's a bit of a problem. But other than that, this area right here at the front is pretty decent. So all we need to do is just kind of get rid of this back bit and mess around with this little bit here. But if you're happy with that and you put it on social media, um, people really wouldn't notice so much that that was something had been removed from there. But let's do a little pixel peeking. So click on the magnifying glass and let's zoom in and see exactly what actually has happened here. Now you can see, if I click one more time, there we go. Now you can see right here, um, it's blurred and um, this is nasty. This really is nasty. Uh, this is gravel and it's multicolored. It's wonderful. This is just horrible. It's blurred, terrible. There's no grass here. It's just a blur, a massive color blurred. So the AI is, is pretty um, basic. Um, it's not advanced any, any way or form and it's much easier to do it manually. So I'm going to just right click. I'm going to zoom out just one time a little bit here like so. Make sure we deselect that. And we're going to stay here with our guided tools and go there to extract, compose, the, the third one from the bottom and go to smart patch. And it will bring in a window that looks exactly like what we had before. And all we're going to do is it's the same brush. Let me get rid of my little marker. And basically all it is, it's the same brush, same thing. And all we're going to do is we're just going to select that blur area to three is about a good size, I think, to zoom. So what we're going to do is we, on the plus marker, make sure you just choose the, gra the gravel. Don't choose the grass because you, you know, it's going to be problematic. So I think used... AI, we still need to manually do it ourselves. So basically, it would have been more easier to, to just do it manually like I did three years ago. This, this is not really a good idea, but click on next. We'll get this outline and then you just drag the outline around until you find somewhere that looks pretty good at replacing what we've got. Now, the problem is when we do this, they still haven't fixed the discoloration that you get when you're moving this around. Now, that is a, a pretty good place to be. I'm going to click here on the left hand side on apply. And that is not too bad at all. Now, because the grass is a two different colors, we're going to have to make two different selections. So I'm going to select this like that. About there, make sure we've got it all. There's one little bit that little bit there make sure we've got that click on next and then we're going to move the grass around until we find some grass that's pretty much going to do what we want it to do that isn't too bad i guess that is not too bad at all actually i like that i'm going to click on apply and i'm going to do this little bit as well here 
just for the sake of this tutorial like so click on next and find somewhere else that isn't too bad at all it's covered it in quite well click on apply and pretty much we're good to go that is good I'm not gonna bother with this it's click on OK Uh, so so there you go we've, we've made this much better just by using the smart patch tool so let's just zoom back out so we can see better and there we are it's normal size now if you looked at that picture anyway you'd say well, you wouldn't really notice that anyone had actually been stood there you pretty much got it a pretty decent job but other than that, the, uh, the the tools that we have here and the advancements that made out over three years with the object removal tool is still, yeah, it's lackluster, definitely. Um, there are better programs that you can use to do this. This is just, yeah, this is a bust. Um, it's it's not it's not that good at all. Three years, uh, yeah, what can I say? <laughs> Rubbish. So there you go, even using AI is not particularly good. So you're gonna to have to intervene and do it manually and it still produces mediocre results. I think there is better software out there for doing this kind of stuff. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, consider subscribing, give us a like, or ring that bell to be notified every time I upload new content. Go check out my channel for all things Cyberlink and more. That's my rant for today. Have a great day, stay safe people.